All right, so today in this session, we are going to see how to set up Adobe Update Server on Windows Server Operating System. So the first step would be to navigate to the admin console and then sign in with your ID. Then once you're there, go to that Packages tab and then uh, you need to go to the tools on the right hand, on the left hand side sorry and then uh, you need to scroll down a little until you find Adobe Update Server Setup Tool downloaded for Windows. So now that we have the tool downloaded we need to extract the contents from the zip file and save it at a location where we want the updates to be saved. So the next important step would be to ensure that we have the IAS role installed on the system and to install the IAS features we need to open the server, server manager and then click on add roles and features and in the window that comes up select IAS and follow the on-screen instructions these are pretty simple and straightforward I already have the service installed so I'm not going to do that again and once done, you can close the window and go back to the location where you saved the OST tool. I'm now going back to the inet, uh, inet pop folder where I had saved my OST setup tool. Now, we have to open the command prompt window with admin rights and navigate to the OST folder in the command shell. Next, we call the CLI menu of OST. Now, with the help of following command, uh, adding dash dash root, equals and then location where you want to download the updates once we hit return we get a few different options in the menu as of now we want to start a fresh sync so we enter option one and hit enter we confirm our selection by hitting the letter y and pressing the return key again it then starts downloading the updates and you can see the progress in the command prompt window. Now that it's downloading the updates, you can navigate to the root folder and check for the folders that have been created by OST. Now we have to perform the handler mapping for the OST server that we have set up. In the server manager, we select tools and IAS manager. Now in the IAS manager, we select the server displayed on the left hand side. Now we click on the handler mapping of the required website, which is OST. Now, now we select the add module mapping option and under the add mo module mapping option, we add XML, CRL, ZIP, DMG, SIG, JSON, and ARM extensions. The process for doing that is shown here. After each extension is added, the system displays the add module mapping dialog box. We click yes. Now in the application pool section, we change the application pool manager pipeline mode to classic as shown. Finally, we go back to our IAS manager, go back to our default website and set the MIME type as text or XML. Next, you have to open the command prompt window again with admin rights and again call the CLI menu option for the OST executable. So we enter the same command that we had entered earlier, dash dash root, followed by the location where our root folder is uh, located. And now when we hit return, 
we get the same menu options and this time we are trying to generate the client configuration file so we select the number three option and hit return now the tool asks us to enter the location for saving the client configuration file which I'm going to provide now next it asks me to enter the HTTP or HTTPS web address of my server I'm going to enter the details and then again hit return Now if I navigate to my root folder, I can see that there are two folders created, Mac and Win, with the two client configuration files for the Mac and Windows operating systems. Now to learn about the deployment options of this client configuration file, go back to the admin console and click on the learn more link in the Adobe Update Server Setup Tool section. A help article on OST would open up on your computer screen and you can scroll down on this page to find the deployment details of the client configuration file. And these are the locations corresponding to the different operating systems where we are going to save the overwrite file. If you want to get the client configuration file deployed as a part of the package created from the admin console, then open the overwrite file that you created in the previous step in a text editing app which has Notepad++ and copy the entire text from it. Now on the console, go to the Packages tab and scroll down to the Preferences tab. Enter the text that you copied from the client configuration file into the tabs provided for Windows and Mac operating system. Click Save. Now on, when you create a new package from the console, the client file will be automatically included in the package and get deployed on the machine where you install this package.